Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody, a viewer, a subscriber, internet friend, sent me this file. And he wants a shape around it like this, trying to get a rough kind of shape boundary around this whole thing. And so I've done it. And that's the way it would look. Um, and you could actually make that bigger. But I thought I'd show him, and maybe you can learn a little bit. This is all grouped together. I'm going to left click right click because I like to look at it in hair lines and then I'm going to look at it closer and matter of fact it's not in hair line uh, sometimes when somebody sends me a file it opens up to their file so there we go it is grouped together so my suggestion would be to use the contour tool and go to the outside Let's try 0.5 and hit apply. That's too big. Let's back up and go 0 0.05. And you get a pretty rough uh, contour, but the letters aren't really touching yet. So let's back up here and let's go 0 0.09. And now our letters are touching, but it's pretty rough. Then I would go to Object, Break Contour Apart. And for a time meaning, let's, uh, let's see how big this is. It's just four inches. So we'll set our nudge distance. See, these are his figures. So I'm going to set my nudge distance on five. And I'm going to take my text, and I'm just going to nudge it over. Then I'm going to get rid of these interior parts. So I'm going to break the curve apart, and I'm going to select that and hit delete. Because what it was doing, it was contouring it all. Then I would get this, and I'm pretty sure he's got 2018, because that's the way that I think the file comes. And maybe not, and if, if you don't, I apologize. Uh, I think in X8, the smoothing tool started. And you could do this without the smoothing tool, but the smoothing tool just makes life a little easier. And then just click on your item and just smooth out these pointed shapes. The rounded shapes to me would work. And it might even have helped to let the text in there so you kind of see. And then I would just get rid of some of these nodes and just kind of go over it real fast. And let's call that OK. I'm going to turn that into a hairline. And now I'm going to take my text and I'm going to fill it in back where it was and left click no outline and I'm going to nudge it back over. Now if that's not big enough and because you've smoothed it, grab your item and let's contour it again to the outside and see so you get a lot smoother contour. And you could keep going and go to another step until you really want it, and then go up to Object, Break Contour Apart, and just click on these contours. Whoop. Maybe that one's not broken apart yet. Right. Or I grab both of them. Maybe i got to select it all, go up to Object. Let's try ungrouping. Grab that inside contour. Then turn this into a hairline. And there you have your text kind of like his shape. It could maybe go a little bit bigger. And the person I'm doing this for, if it's not, uh, if you do not have the smoothing tool, uh, I'm going to send you this file. And then you could um, use it and contour it a little bit more if you want. Anyway. I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.